Hi, I'm Chad here with Shoot Straight TV, and you know I've hunted with a muzzleloader all over the world. And part of using a muzzleloader is cleaning your muzzleloader. And I'm gonna show you some steps today to make that job just a little easier. Cause there's a lot of people say, oh, I don't wanna clean my muzzleloader, but you need to clean it to keep it working well and keep its value. So today we're gonna to talk about the CVA Paramount. Now this is a muzzleloader that is exceptional. It's a long range muzzleloader. I've been fortunate to take a lot of animals with it and I love this gun. People ask me all the time, what's the difference between cleaning this muzzleloader and say a CVA Acura? Cause an Acura is a brake action. Well, basically it's very similar, but you have to take the bolt out of this one and we'll talk about that in a minute. What products am I gonna to use today? Well, I love the CVA barrel blaster type products and they have the deluxe cleaning kit right here this is what we're going to be using uh, you can get this at muzzleloaders.com and it has a lot of great things in it from the wonder gel to the the uh, rust prevent spray nic stick everything you need the brushes and there's jags in here for 45 and 50 caliber along with the wire brushes you can see right here it says 45 caliber on that and that's what we're gonna to use today because this is a 45 caliber muzzleloader. So first off, before you clean your muzzleloader, safety first, always make sure it's unloaded. Well, how do you do that? Well, you can take the ramrod, put it down the barrel, make sure because you've measured it earlier to make sure how far down it goes. Second thing is you can take this bolt out and make sure you can see daylight looking through the breech plug. That's another way to do it, but always make sure it's unloaded if it's not unloaded, make sure you take your Veriflame out. We're gonna talk about these Veriflames here in a minute, but take that out, because that's where your primer, and then you can remove the breech plug and push your load through, say you're in a situation where that gun uh, still has a charge in it. So first off, we're gonna talk about removing the bolt. So on the CVA Paramount, there's a button right here on the side that will release your bolt. So you push that down and it slides out just like this. The next step is removing your breech plug. Now this gun comes with a tool to do that, which is great. I clean a lot of muzzleloaders because I shoot a lot. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I take an 11 millimeter socket and I'll just put this right in there and I'll just remove it like that. Once it's loose, you can even remove that and just use your fingers. It's, it's, it's very easy to get this out of here. So once you get this all the way out, it'll just slide right out for you. Just like that, pops out, you know, it doesn't take much. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna lay my gun down and I'm gonna open up my soaker here. And you can see right here, it has a basket, so you can do that. Now, one thing I'm gonna tell you while I drop that in there, um, the other thing you have to watch are your Vera flames. Now those Vera flames, and we showed those easier, they're hiding right here, they're right here. This Vera flame, which is where your primer goes in, they can get a little bit of fouling, but not much. Now I will tell you, if you get one, of the, one or two of these that are getting really, really dirty, you need to call CBA's customer service. It doesn't typically happen, but that'll tell you there's something going on with your spring and uh, your tension there uh, with your firing pin, and you need to make sure that that is clean. So if it's a little fouling, it's not bad, but if they're really dirty, call CBA's customer service. So I'm gonna drop that in and uh, let that soak. Now while I'm letting this soak, I'm gonna put the lid on it so I don't spill all over. Now while that's soaking, I'm gonna take my Barrel Blaster solvent spray. I'm gonna spray that all over my bolt head. I'm gonna take one of my cleaning patches right here. And I'm just gonna make sure that I visibly clean this really well. Um, that's so important. You want to get that good and clean. You can see that right there. You're getting uh, fouling off of here and dust, and, and that's very, very important. I'll oil this before I put it back in. So my next step is going to be the barrel. How am I going to clean this barrel?
The first thing you want to do is put your range rod together. Now I've got a range rod right here in the deluxe cleaning kit. And this range rod has been my friend for many years. I've used these. Now these barrels have a nitride finish on them and uh, that makes them very corrosion resistant. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a squirt of this right here. That's my rust prevent spray. I put my 45 caliber jag on it. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to run this down the barrel. just to make sure that I get that solvent in there. That's gonna push out right there in the bottom. Now, the next step I'll do is I wanna make sure that breech plug area is clean. So you can take this and you can, you can put a uh, patch on it if you want, or you can just squirt a little bit of this on here liberally. And then I'm just gonna run that up through there. I'm gonna clean that. I had that patch still in there. That's a little secret there sometimes that'll help get some of that out of there. Then I pull that out. Now what am I gonna do? I'm gonna run this back down. I'm gonna push those, that patch out that just dropped out right there, as I can see. So that's ready to go. So what's gonna be my next step? My next step is gonna finish with putting my breech plug back in after I get it cleaned up completely. It's been soaking in here, so uh, you can leave that soak 20, 30 minutes, whatever you want. So it's been soaking. I'm gonna take it out. Just let that moisture drop off of it. Now you notice, this is one I use a little bit. It's a little darker color now, because I've been using it. Uh, it's more of a yellowish color right when, when you get it. Um, so I have right here in my Vera Flame. I'm gonna just take that, gonna inspect it, make sure it's good. That's clean. I mean, that is shiny, clean, good to go. I don't have to do anything but wipe it off. The next step is right here, I've got my breech plug. And I love this little brush here in this kit. You can take this right here and just get down in there Make sure that it is super, super clean. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna visually inspect and make sure that uh, everything is out of there. There's no buildup in there. And uh, after that's done, I'm ready to put it back in my gun. So after I make sure this is good and clean, I take my anti-C stick and I just get that in the threads make sure it's good and coated take one of my patches here just rub that through make sure that's good to go and then i'm going to take my socket right here that 11 millimeter i'm just going to get that lined up perfect you want to get it started right i'm just going to use my fingers here to get that going in say how tight do you want to put this in the CVA Paramount. Uh, you don't want it super tight. I mean, I'm using fingers on that. I'll just take this uh, socket right here just to make sure, because my hands are a little bit uh, slick right now. And I just make sure it's firm. Don't <laughs> crank that down, uh, but make sure it's good and uh, tight there. Uh, next, I've got my bolt that I've already cleaned. I'm just gonna spray a little oil on that. I'm gonna put that, that in here. All you have to do is push the button down. You're good to go. I'm gonna drop that hammer. I like storing it with that hammer released on there. Last thing I'll do before I store this gun is right in here, there's a uh, nice rag that it comes with. And I'm gonna wipe down the outside of my gun and uh, this has some rust prevent, uh, anti-corrosion product already built into it. I'm just gonna wipe this down super good all around here, and then I'm gonna be good to store it. Now, I get this question all the time about before you go shoot this gun, after you've cleaned it properly and you store it, what do you do? Well, first off, you make sure it's unloaded but then I will take a cap or this Vera Flame with primer. I'll shoot it once to make sure that I have all the oil 
uh, that may have uh, developed inside there from when I wiped it. Sometimes that goes all the way down to the breech plug. So before I load this gun and start shooting it at the range, or before I go on my hunt, I'm gonna make sure that I'll pop a cap. That's the best way to say it. So I hope that helped you today. Use these techniques to clean your CVA Paramount, and this gun should last you a lifetime.